Hi, so this is the website of High Counselor Superstore Sales Analysis and Data Visualization Project. So uh, here, if we scroll down, you'll find module one. Uh, you can just click on the arrow towards the right and there you'll find the link of the sandbox. Module one is basically data pre-processing that has to be done on uh, Python. So when you click the sandbox link, this is what you'll get. Maybe open sandbox option not be there if you haven't started it yet. You click on whatever button is there, then after a few seconds, this button will be activated. Then you have to click on open sandbox and this uh, SQL query page will open. Here you have to write all the SQL queries for all the 14 questions that have been asked in module two. So first we'll start with module one, where we have to do pre-processing of the data set. So for this, first we need to download the data set. You click on that blue icon on overview and then there's click here. You click on that click here icon and that will lead you to the data set. You can directly download this data set that is in the form of CSV. Then uh, you have to open Python and do the uh, module one task. There have been four tasks that has that is assigned for you to do. Uh, I've uploaded my uh, Python video. You can check it to understand how to do it if you are not able to uh, complete that. After that, we have to uh, convert that uh, MySQL to, uh, sorry, the CSV file to SQL. Uh, and then uh, that will be used uh, to write the query here. So first of all, you have to uh, understand how to convert the file to SQL and upload it on the SQL server. For that, you click on database info. Uh, when you click on database info, you will get details. After details, there is one blue icon. You have to click on that. See, and then here, the you have to click on that local host that is blue in color, the database detail, to go to the PHP admin server that is the local MySQL server. First, you can run this to complete the DBPY. Uh, from that info only, you can copy the host username, password, and database. The, now, then click on the local host. This site will open. Here, you need to log in. I am already logged in, that is why this page has opened. You can uh, get the ID password uh, by going there only. See here, you have, you have the username, the password, and the database is also given. Database is unique for every individual. This is my database that has been assigned to me. So in this database, I have to create a superstore table and I have to add all those CSV data that I have got after cleaning in Python. So uh, there are uh, two ways where how you can do this. First one is to uh, just uh, create columns by not using query, but by just clicking on the database on the left side, and then there is a create table option. Let's say in the name you can type superstore in the number of columns. The number of columns is around 17 or 18 in Excel. So let's say if it is 18, you type there 18, and then you click on go. Let's see what happens when I click on go. Okay, uh, so table superstore is already there. So let's change the name to super s t o t e r t. Okay, just to have an understanding. Now, if you click on go, see this page opens. Here you can name all the columns. You can give the data type, and then you can just click on go, and the uh, table name with column will be uh, made in the given database. And then using the import query, using the import option, you can directly import the CC file. Uh, to this data set. Now the second way is to write a query. So what you can do for this is you can just open Excel to uh, SQL query converter that is a tableauconverter.com slash Excel to SQL. You can just import the SQL file and the Excel file here. If it is in the form of CSV, you just change it from uh, that uh, Excel drop down to CSV. If it is uh, in Excel SX, then you have to select Excel. As you load the file here, and you scroll down, you will see it has already it directly converted the given data in the CSV file to SQL format in form of a query. So here I'm actually uh, loading the file from my system, but uh, it, it is not getting recorded because of privacy. Uh, so I have uh, actually loaded the file now. Let's see what happens. See, and below, as you can see, table editor on the right hand side. The data is already loaded in the form of CSV in the form of CSV data. So now, now if I scroll down in the table generator, you will see a SQL query has been generated with uh, table name, its uh, data types, and if you scroll down, you will see all the data. Now here, the table name is 
table name. What you have to do is you have to just copy all this and you have to paste it in Excel and you have to change the table name to Superstore. When you change the uh, table into Superstore, you can directly just copy paste this into my PHP admin server SQL query and without even needing to import or create table manually, you can just directly import the table as well as the data in. So here I have just copied it and I have uh, copied it from here and put it in Excel, but that is not getting recorded, so you cannot see it. And then I changed the table into super store and then I, I copied it from Excel and then I pasted it into my PHP admin server. You will see it very soon uh, how it has been done. Let's wait for some time. Uh, there's some network issue here. So see as I scroll down, each and every data has been converted to SQL query. You just have to change the table name because it has been said that you have to use the table superstore. Now this background movement is in Excel actually, but that is not getting recorded. Actually, this page is getting hanged mainly because the data is very large. So you can skip a few seconds from here. So till now I have converted the table link into Superstore. By, you can use Control F and use the replace and then you can uh, change the table name. You can replace the word table name with Superstore or any other table you want to. But uh, remember you have to use table name as Superstore because the data set is Superstore. So now I am back to PHP admin. That click, I have clicked on SQL and I'll, then I will directly paste this query here and then I will do nothing I'll just click on go so as I click on go it will take some time for the data to load this is it actually this will uh, form each and everything that is required to run the query So see, I've already created two tables named as ABCDEF and Superstore. Actually, the data is same. So I'm creating this third table with the same data. I have the table in Super S T O R T. So uh, that is it. Yeah. So see, uh, the query has run. The tables and uh, content has been created in my PHP admin. So you can either run the query here, or you can run the query in Sandbox. It will give same result. Because now the sandbox is connected uh, by this PHP admin. See, I have already created now. See, uh, a new table as super stot has been created. So let's uh, run one query and see uh, if it is giving any value. So since superstore and superstore is same, I'm on using the superstore because we have to use that. Now, if I run this, see, uh, I can get the data from here. That means it's working fine. Now I'll just have to go to sandbox. So for module two, we have uh, 14 questions. Just click on task one. One is what percentage of total orders were shipped on the same date. You click on task one dot SQL and write this query, run this query. It will give correct result. Here, the expected answer is zero, which should not be. That is why I have used the round function and I've rounded it to one point to get the value 0, 0.0 because the expected answer is 0, 0.0, but it should be uh, around 6.33. 
similarly after you run this test uh, it will if it succeeds after it will take five seconds and it will move directly to second question which is now name top three customers with highest order value you click on task 2 dot sql write the query run it and this is how you go on uh, writing the query for different tasks and complete all 14 questions of module 2 so that is it for module 1 and module 2 hope uh, you understood whatever I explained thank you